A day after Taiwan's constitutional court ruled that the laws banning same-sex marriage are unconstitutional, the debate returned to the legislature. The ruling gives lawmakers two years in which to extend that right to same-sex couples. And while some felt that revising existing law could be done quickly, others wanted to draft completely new legislation to deal with the issue. The Constitutional Court's ruling favoring same-sex marriage was bound to be controversial. A KMT legislator took issue with a decision. This is a Tsai Ing-wen-style cultural revolution. After this ruling, it's easy to foresee the family values we've had for thousands of years being completely destroyed. More than 80 percent of society is opposed to eliminating the death penalty and decriminalizing adultery. But this method may be used to pass both of those measures. Will the crime of adultery disappear because of this? I don't think it's that simple. So we will, of course, first build a foundation based on social ideals or a social consensus. Practically speaking, the Constitutional Court's ruling means that the legislature has to decide whether to amend the civil code or enact a whole new law on same-sex marriage. Lawmakers diverged on what approach to take. The civil code is unconstitutional, so we should revise it. In the legislature, we have already produced revisions in committee that very clearly passed the test of the interpretation issued by the Constitutional Court. So we hope we can quickly proceed with the legislature's version. Same-sex marriage is not a universal right. It's not a human right. It's not a universal value. Shouldn't we try to establish a new law on this? The government said it will work to amend the law within two years, and the president has directed agencies to propose concrete revisions consistent with the ruling and send them to the legislature as soon as possible. That now means that proponents and opponents of same-sex marriage will take their battle to the lawmaking body.